One of my favorite conversations when I'm talking to buyers from out of the area is about property taxes. I talk to a lot of people from the Northeast, uh, you know, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and when they ask about property taxes, they are more than pleasantly surprised. Uh, for example, I was just working with some folks. They actually uh, purchased a home, but when we started, they were looking in the $500,000 range, asked what the property taxes would be. I said they'd be in around $1,700 a year, and they're like, a year? Uh, they're from New York, and they were paying, I think they said around $14,000 a year for their property taxes. So how does Horry County figure out their property taxes? Well, here's what they do. So the purchase they made uh, was a home, they paid $488,000 for it. As a primary homeowner, uh, they take their assessment ratio of 4% times the $488,000, and that gives an assessed value of $19,520. You take the assessed value times the countywide millage rate, which is currently 0.2026, and that gives you $3,954.75. That's technically your taxes. But wait, it gets better. As a primary homeowner, you get to take what they call a school operations tax credit. So basically the portion of the property tax that pays for school as a primary homeowner, you get to get that as a credit. And the way we figure that out is we take your assessed value, which in this case is 19520 times 0.1202, and that equals $2,346.30. So you take your taxes, which are $3,954.75, subtract the school operations tax credit, which in this case is $2,346.30, and that gives your annual taxes due, your annual property taxes for the home they just bought at $488,000 at $1,608.45. So yeah, a lot lower than they are uh, where they just moved from. Now, if you just recently purchased a home in Horry County, or you purchased a home a while ago, which I hope this isn't the case, and it is your primary home and your taxes seem like they're a lot higher than that, well, what that would mean is that you never went to the assessor's office to fill out the proper forms, which actually can all be done online now, um, the proper forms to get your tax, your property tax rate at the primary um, rate. So in this example, at $488,000 home, at the non-primary, uh, which would basically be a second home investment property, anything like that, uh, those taxes would be just under $6,000 a year. So it's a huge difference. If you have any questions about uh, anything to do with real estate, uh, I'm always happy to help. I'm Mark Gouin with Remax Southern Shores, and my phone number is 843-685-9326. Hope you all have a great day. Bye.